Jeran Shakiri of the Chicago Fire joining us next here on Football Americas. Jeran, great to have you with us. This is the first hey time guys, we're in pleasure, person. Man. We're always kind of on a laptop. Yeah. Good to see you. <laughs> pleasure, guys. Pleasure <laughs> to see you, man. So one of the first times he was on the show, he remembered a yeah. segment that we did right. when he first signed with Chicago Fire. And he said, I don't know which of these two no, guys. He said, no, he said, those are the guys. He said, <laughs> one, of the guys. These, one of these both two of guys <laughs> was critical of my signing. And I want to say, for the yeah. record, it was Herc. It yeah. was Herc. It was this guy. Oh, you were, it was a smaller guy. It was this guy. Yeah, I know. We all look the One same, I guess. Man, yeah. <laughs> um, so we'll talk about Chicago Fire in a second, but you're coming off a World Cup, man. Uh, what was your experience like in Qatar? Uh, you know, a uh, World Cup 2 experience is always special, you know, for every player, and especially for me, it's always, you know, for my country, it's, it's something very really special because you you represent your country, and, uh, yeah, you want to do well, um, you want to be successful, and, and I enjoyed every game, to be honest. Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo, Jordan Shakiri, the only players who score in three consecutive mm. World Cups. What does that mean to you? Yeah, it's for sure something very special for me and uh, to be with this kind of big names, uh, you know, on the list. Um, how I said before, you know, it's always special to score in a World Cup and uh, to do it that in a row is even something special. You can see how people, you know, take it and uh, yeah, you are in the books. It's something uh, nobody can take, you, take it away from you. And uh, yeah, no, I f I'm very proud uh, that, that uh, I achieved that because it's also something not, you know, you cannot achieve that every day, especially the World Cup is every few years. And uh, yo, no, I'm very proud and uh, yeah, I hope many more is going to come. <laughs> so we were watching the tournament, we were in Qatar as well, and we actually had a little side bet of who would get through in your group. We okay. thought Brazil surely would get through. <laughs> I said Serbia, he said Switzerland, so oh. I owe him some money. I owe him some oh. money on that one. Yeah, man. Um, tell me about that Serbia-Switzerland game, the intensity yeah. of that game, because we know there's a Crazy. rivalry, we know there's a lot of history there, but then also you have a game that is basically an elimination game in the World Cup. It wasn't, but it felt like it. What was that game like? You know, a lot of people were talking about this game, you know, the newspapers, but we played already in 2018 against uh, each other, you know, so it was milder, you know, it was not so a lot of tension like 2018, you know, both teams handled the, the, the media stuff very well. Uh, us as a team also, we dealt very well. We were like really concentrated, me by myself too. I, want, I just wanted to, to, to make a good performance and we knew. We had to win the game if you want to go through, and that was even more special. So, um, uh, yeah, you saw there was a few tension in the games, but by myself, I stayed very cool and I wanted to show with my football skills, you know, uh, and I wanted to decide the game with my team. So, in the end of the day, we won the game, we went through, and this is, was the most important thing. Really quickly, uh, many people had their opinions on this World Cup if it was as Johnny Infantino called it, the greatest World Cup ever. Did you think it was the greatest World Cup ever? For me, yes. For me, yes. Not the only the organization, but also the, the quality in the game. Mm. Everybody was talking, okay, November, December, you know, um, how it's going to be. But for me, it was, it was in the end the right, because you see the quality till in the end of the tournament, how, how, how far the quality went. So we know normally the, the, the World Cup is always in the summer. So everybody plays the whole season. Uh, okay, depend on MLS is different a bit, but like the most of the guys in Europe, they play the whole season and the World Cup is in the summer. So everybody is tired, you know, you get more injuries also. And for me it was also, I was surprised to be honest that the, the, the quality of the game stayed very high till yeah. in, in the end, you know, and the final was um, something unbelievable. That, you know? that final, what side of the camp were you on? Was it, what was more of a story for you? Messi finally getting that World Cup or Kylian Mbappe, hat trick and how young he is and what he's already done, what he's already accomplished? No, for me it was most important to enjoy the final, you know, as a, as a yeah, as a fan too, because uh, we watch all the games and uh, it was so something special to watch the game, how we went like back and forth, you know, and uh, the quality, how I said before, it was very high, you know, till in the end, extra time and everything, you know. So, um, yeah, it was for me also the best World Cup so far. Let's talk Chicago Fire. What are your expectations for this season? Man, to be honest, the expectations are uh, high. Um, uh, as we know, last year we didn't make the playoff. Uh, I was very 
not happy and this is pretty normal and uh, yeah we uh, we have to change things and uh, we are doing it slowly slowly and then uh, we're gonna go this season and we're gonna try first of all to make the playoffs what for me must be a basics in the few years to do every year the, the the playoffs because we know if you go to the playoffs everything can happen but you can go out straight away but for me it has to be a basic to go to the playoffs and but we need some changes and uh, I think the, the people behind it doing it slowly slowly and but we're gonna do it. What are those changes? Yeah a few things you know only uh, sportive too uh, get new new players in uh, get uh, players in with experience more you know of course we have a good team uh, we have uh, a lot of young players in the team you know are very talented i like them a lot but not only talent wins championship we know that so we need more experienced players and uh, who can help around the team the 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 youngsters you know and we are Chicago, eh? we are a big city and uh, we have a big sports city. We know how Chicago Fire was uh, so early successful, 2000s, yeah. yes, early 2000s. And uh, I want to bring that back. But for this, you need also uh, a very good team who, who you can compete against the best. Yep. Before we leave, uh, it's Messi, Cristiano, Jaron Shakiri, three World Cups in a row. Are you looking to make it four? <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. I'm looking forward. Uh, you know, we never know about football what happened. Uh, this kind of uh, decisions we have to make always slowly and uh, You'll tranquilo. be, what, 35 for the next World Cup? <laughs> You'll be 35 years old? Yeah. Yeah, that's young. Yeah. That's young. No, that's, young. Feeling, that's what I'm Messi was. Good, man. I'm yeah. feeling good and fit, so um, I, I wish I can make it there. Yeah, I hope All right. It's only three and a half years. But I'm looking, I'm looking forward yeah. and... Uh, yeah, I hope I can score again. Yeah, yeah. and you won't have to travel far because it's right here uh, no, in exactly, the United yeah. States. Home. <laughs> there he is, uh, Jeran Shakir of the Chicago Fire. Great to have you with us here on Football Americas. Thanks Thank for the time. Thanks for making me man. some money, Thank man. You, man. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, one of our favorite interviews, no doubt, from MLS Media. They, they, they're uh, Hercules Gomez, and he did win you some money with that big uh, Switzerland over Serbia bet. He did. He did. One of the few uh, that you've won here on Football yeah, Americas. He hates you, by the way. Yes. He, he really yeah. does not like you. From our <laughs> last one, our last interview to this one, when he found out you bet against him mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. Switzerland. But yeah, always a a fun interview with with yep. Jared Danschkin. It's it's crazy. We we mentioned it in the interview, but Cristiano, Messi, the only two players to have scored in the last three World Cups. It, it sounds easy. It's very easy to say, mm -hmm. but it shows how important he is to his national team and the level he's played at. Yep, sounds like he's got some big expectations this year for Chicago Fire as well. So well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.